so far we have created tenant vrf bridge domain application profile and epg and now i will explain you how to create new vlan and assign it to the interfaces i'll take two standalone interfaces that is 1 slash 36 on both the nodes that is 101 and 102 but here you need to represent like the interfaces interface objects are named using interface type pod node that is switch module that is a line card and port number now i'll take a vlan 5 and I will have to tag this to both the interfaces. I will have to map the interface and the VLAN to the existing EPG that is EPG underscore auto ACI. I will put the command before the command so that we can know what we are trying to do here so we are creating new vlan that is vlan 5 and assigning to the interface that is 1 slash 36 on node 101 and 102 now our script is ready to run I'll save it and give new name to the file and I'll save this file as an interface and VLAN. Now I'll run this script and let's see the output. It is showing there are two individual interfaces that is 1 slash 36 on node 101 and 102 and also showing the VLAN number that is VLAN 5. Now I will show you this is an APIC GUI to verify the configuration of the tenant. So I have opened the APIC GUI. Now I will go in tenant. I'll open the ACI automation tenant. Let me open the application profile. Under the application profile, I'll get the application EPG that is EPG underscore ACI auto. Now I'll need to check for the static ports. So here you can see Ethernet 1 slash 36 on node 101 and 102 are configured and it is using VLAN 6. So we got the expected output and here also you can see the domain has been mapped and it is showing that a physical domain and it is under the EPG.